right today the topic is women the backbone of business okay so we've not really looked at a topic which would be um, women as entrepreneurs or women as uh, something else what we are saying is women whichever way as entrepreneur or as a homemaker or in any other way uh, are the backbone of uh, business all right so on this topic we've got uh, eight panelists i think seven of them are here uh, riddhi she has been dealing with the case so there was a suicide case and she's gone to attend to the person okay attend to the person's family she should be joining us pretty soon before that let me start uh, uh, inviting all of you to introduce yourself so first and foremost uh, i will invite uh, mummy to please introduce herself i am usha puri uh mother of atul puri and director of e growth i and a good housewife and a retired teacher fantastic my base is teaching it's fantastic usha ji to see you here it is quite a pleasant uh, you know motivation actually yeah thank you so all of you can maybe give a thumbs up or maybe a clap sign if you please all right great thank you uh, uh, so i am uh, able to be on this screen every day because she is there she is watching my back all right so mandeep ji can you please introduce yourself good morning mandeep ji is our second uh, uh, so she is our uh, on the panel today yeah good morning everyone my name is mandeep and i'm from delhi i run a company called the squirrels and we are into uh, corporate events and corporate event related decorations so we have our own design team and a production um, uh, capacity with skilled uh, workforce and uh, we've been in this uh, business for last 10 years thank you great uh, advocate arti bhalla good morning everyone this is advocate arti bhalla based out of gurgaon practicing in gurgaon and delhi courts so uh, and it's a pleasure to be here welcome usha ji and it's so nice to see you i have never addressed you with this name but uh, wonderful <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, so uh, sushma uh, good morning everyone uh, this is sushma mehta shah here Uh, I run a brand called Rejuvenate Jewels. Uh, I am into fashion jewelry. I manufacture and design my own jewelry. Uh, I have been on the team board of India Fashion Week, and we have uh, about twenty-five months. Um, I have been a housewife. I still work from home, but it's been eight years since my brand. And uh, we are here today to talk about women empowerment. and uh, i'm so glad to see usha ji here because she is a perfect example of how a homemaker no matter what happens is always there to watch everyone's back and i'm very very proud of that so yes welcome everyone thank you pavni hi everybody my name is pavni kandelwal and uh, i'm a social entrepreneur based in mathura uh, my primary objective is um, answering the question how do we empower more women in the fields of mobility and entrepreneurship because number 1 agar auto ko empower karna hai so wo ghar se to nikalna padega right but the problem is most women don't even get out of their houses and number 2 is considering the kind of uh, opportunities that we have today for women i believe entrepreneurship is extremely important for women to venture so out uh, at a personal level and uh, from a uh, micro and macro economy perspective so which is why we're working on both of these lines the reason why i chose to be in mathura uh, at the site of um, whatever my academic background everything is i've come back here and i want to make sure that i can contribute as much as i can to my own hometown first and then anywhere else so i run a company called atmanirbhar where we training women in mobility work with multiple co corporates where we are recruiting women for them for example for ola for uber for uh, rapido and i also run a non profit where we enable entrepreneurship among women um, yeah that's about me great so pavni what uh, uh, vehicle do you ride i ride a bullet i ride a royal enfield 
Fantastic. That is interesting. So, and uh, uh, Preeti, please introduce yourself. Namaskar. Uh, this is Preeti Seth. I'm a wellness expert. Professionally, I'm a clinical dietitian and a cosmetologist. So it's, it's my passion to make people beautiful, though we all are, because we are creatures of God. But always I try to uh, make sure that whatever I can enhance in personality or uh, in terms of uh, wellness, I'm always there. I have a brand by the name of Pacholi. Uh, Pacholi is a complete wellness destination and our presence is in Delhi NCR. We've got seven branches and uh, it's been 10 years and I carry experience of about 25 years in the same industry. And I'm very glad to be here on this platform to, you know, discuss about the, uh, how women, uh, you know, is the backbone and uh, what it takes to uh, reach there at that level for a, a, to a woman. And uh, thank you, auntie. See you, uh, seeing you after an year because I couldn't attend this time uh, the uh, womenhood uh, that uh, uh, get together. So welcome all and uh, let's make this planet beautiful with us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Taran? Good morning, everybody. Auntie, uh, it's so nice to see you. Uh, you are a true housemaker, but apart from that, I hospitality. You know, you're a beautiful host. Because I remember uh, the lunch at your house and the warmth which you showed. So welcome and it's so nice to see you here. Thank um, you. Just to talk, you're welcome auntie. Just to talk about my, uh, myself, uh, I'm a branding and a PR expert. Uh, I've been with a few best brands in the country in terms of launching those brands, including the Grand Prix of India. Uh, my company Uplifto has been almost sold now. And we have a PR agency, which is about 18 years old. It's called Samban PR. So we help brands become rock star in various forms. Uh, whatever we do, we always try to deliver ROIs on the table. So we think from the customer's point of view, how much ROI he needs and you know how, what kind of events can be or programs can be curated for his benefit because a mutual benefit kind of thing. And we need to bring value on the table. So uh, we look forward to a lot of uh, good interaction for the day to day and uh, more powerful, I would say, collaborations in the future. Welcome all. Thank you. Fantastic. So all of you, if you like the panel, if you think the panel is awesome, just type awesome in the chat box. Let's take half a minute on that. Awesome, 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 awesome. And uh, while uh, some of the people they are busy typing, <laughs> my first question to all of you is uh, one, thanks a lot for being on the panel. All right. Uh, there is no specific thought has gone behind who comes first, who comes later. Just that the names came to my mind. I spoke, you guys said yes, and you are here. Okay. Um, and uh, on behalf of humanity, uh, I would like to say that uh, we are responsible for the way the planet is, the relationships or the dynamics are. Having said that, for this uh, half an hour or one hour, keep that aside and please share when it comes to, so I, I'm talking to the panel, okay? Please share that when we say uh, women are the backbone of business, what does it open up for you? So maybe uh, each one of you goes yeah. one way or the other, yeah. Um, can, I, can I first yeah, ask, uh, Atul, because uh, can you probably highlight a little more about your understanding of this sentence? Your, you know, what do you mean when you say, what, do, what does it come to your head when you say women are the backbone or your mother is the backbone? So what, for, do you, what are you thinking? Yeah, so for me, a woman is a more evolved of the two genders. Okay. Um, when she has to manage the home, she's able to manage it. When she has to manage the front, so she, my mother, she has been a teacher. So at that time, she was the breadwinner for the home. Okay. So she showed up really well as a breadwinner as well. Okay. Uh, a woman is able to raise the children or the offsprings better than uh, men. That is one way of one direction in which we can take the conversation. Uh, 
second piece is business is an integral part of the society the manner in which we grow this is where as a woman you contribute in various uh, for, uh, uh, manners okay you can contribute as being on the shop front you contribute as being at the back end you contribute as being the support structure for the one who's running the business in all those three uh, um, um, situations or all those three um, uh, settings uh, she is the backbone this is what i uh, comes to my mind okay does that answer your question so yes helps me understand the statement better so so don't worry so this is not a phd topic and none of us has a thesis on it yeah and one thing also i would like to acknowledge uh, so this panel is an awesome panel we've got a 20 something and we've got a 70 something on this panel <laughs> yeah so pavni would you like to build further on it yeah so uh, see uh, i mean ideally women should be as much the backbone of business or family or anything else as any other person in the in that family or in that business okay ideally but unfortunately yes women have been more of the backbone especially in some particular aspects now again these are my opinions and these might sound a little radical to some people but i'm willing to take that risk okay so like you said right like uh, so the thing is that i feel that we have ideal idolized the word called backbone into actually putting in more pressure on women you know you are the backbone so kahin na kahin kya hota hai backbone pe bahut zyada pressure aa jata hai us pure idolization ki wajah se jabki women ko bhi utna hi backbone hona chahiye jitna ghar ke और सदस्यों को या एक बिजनेस के और सदस्यों को बट एक ही बंदे पे ना बैकबोन के नाम से क्या होता है ज्यादा प्रेशर आ जाता है इज दिस इज व्हाट माय अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द वर्ड इज राइट लाइक इवन राइट नाउ इफ यू सी लॉकडाउन के टाइम पे वुमेन इज द बैकबोन ऑफ एवरी फैमिली एज मच एज माई डैड इज माई मदर इज ऑल्सो बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली माई मदर इज डूइंग मोर हाउस वर्क एंड ऑल द टाइम शी हैज टू नज माई डैड के ये कर लो ये कर लो ये कर लो so you know let's not idolize it is what i want to say uh, why do we have to keep of course we have to keep a separate panel for women because we've not yet reached the place where we can say okay women empowerment has happened but why do we have to start by asking a question do you think women are important i mean isn't it obvious <laughs> women are important so i think consciously subconsciously a lot of times our intentions are not bad when we use all of these words but then they end up creating waves where uh, you know aap unko automatically second class bhi bana rahe ho unke upar extra burden bhi dal rahe ho aur unko equality ki league se alag kar rahe ho is this is my opinion about this particular sentence awesome yes completely agree to this here yeah So I'm very, very well spoken. Very well spoken and very well said. Yeah. <laughs> It's a different nazar, yeah. हमको लग रहा है कि हम appreciate हो रहे हैं, but actually speaking, yeah, there are ways. Exactly. This is discrimination. Even when we travel, we see that uh, it's spe specifically written that it's either for uh, privileged people or for women. So we are categorized with them. I mean, let them sit either to a woman or to those privileged people. So this is something irony of the society that still we are taken like a special, you know, in that bracket that women can do this. I mean, there is a question mark, and I don't uh, really see the reason behind it and reason for it because uh, now also when we are sitting at home, we are seeing that uh, we are an entrepreneur here also. so uh, you know even if you talk about a mail they say that please involve us ask us what are we supposed to be doing i mean they would not take the initiative to do things so whether it's a work at home or business we take a lead and we come up front because i think our eq without saying is more than the males i would like to take this opportunity so uh, so seeing that and having that eq so high so we always try to do little more or maybe so extra that you know we don't even take care of ourselves at times so i feel that uh, backbone i mean this is something that but obvious we don't even have to mention it yeah 
and uh, i would like to add one more thing to it despite being the backbone despite being putting in as many effort as as we do trust me we are yet not the decision makers or the businesses uh, of the home or of anything else we, our decisions are yet secondary only when they are uh, people are comfortable the um, uh, men part folk are comfortable with what we say and speak out they accept it otherwise you know we are brushed under the carpet so this is one very sad part which you know you can say a backbone or a bank balance or an atm machine anything to us even the bread earners of the family the final decisions of the house were not taken with her call trust me even if she was the bread earner of the family so this is very sad even if i i i was active participant with my husband in his business my mother was a housewife so the entire income used to come to my mother she has generated converted did everything i was actively uh, uh, participating in the business so everything used to i mean it's not that coming to us but the decisions are not us they should at least be taken care of 50 50 they were never not with my mother not with me and i don't even see anywhere so i chose to be independent rather helping my husband in his business after realizing all this i am sorry it's a very hard fact but i was not i was not independent enough to take my calls off the work i am doing the decisions i could take 15 years are given to a business but i chose to walk out only because i was not allowed and my decisions were not respected we were not given that place which was to be given backbone spine blood <laughs> wbc whatever you want to call we were there we were there forever <laughs> we never went away but we were never the given that power and to steal away that power created a lot of uh, dis, you know distancing and lot of bitterness in the relation so i better off chose to quit the business and do something of my own i'm sorry this is not something which everyone would be very happy to hear here hear, hear out here because they're very supportive my everyone is very supportive yet yet i'm not the decision maker and my decisions are not being valued So oh, Arti, I feel now that uh, you know times are changing because you know our parents or our mothers were not that strong initially because they were always you know put down. And now being us as parents, I mean today my son does something wrong, I he is going to get it from me because it's the way I have now realized with time that women are equal to men yeah. and uh, that you know our mom, my mom is a very strong woman and that's the reason uh, that's what I am. Huh? and i thank my entire life to her but uh, the she, thing is that she was strong but still she's uh, you know luckily she brought me up in that manner and i am bringing up my children in a further better manner right. so you know somehow i believe that the parents have never uh, bought equality between men and girls girls have to uh, cook in the kitchen pehle se ladkon ko kabhi sikhaya nahi gaya ki kitchen mein tumko khana banana hai या तुम्हें ऑफिस जाना है और तुम्हें घर पे रहना है इट्स ऑलवेज बिन अ माइंड सेट फ्रॉम चाइल्डहुड सो आई थिंक व्हाट रियली नीड टू चेंज इज आर अपब्रिंगिंग ऑफ द फ्यूचर जनरेशन एंड आई बिलीव दैट दैट्स आई ऑलरेडी सी दैट डिफरेंस यू नो अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आर चेंजिंग माय हस्बैंड इन द इनिशियल व्हेन आई गॉट 19 इयर्स नाउ आई एम मैरिड आई होप ही डजंट हियर दिस बट इट वाज डिफिकल्ट इट वाज वेरी हार्ड फॉर हिम टू बिलीव दैट you know initially ki a girl has a mindset and she is strong about it ki nahi maine bol diya matlab khatam ho gaya now he is changing because i have told him that lesson nahi hota hai you know there are things and today he is cooking in the kitchen and i'm attending this meeting not because of the fact that i've trained him like he wants to do it now he is realizing so people are changing uh and there is uh, i think we need to give it a little more time and of course and as i'm saying and i would say why only girls are backbones men are also backbones we are always talking about only women and power men do a hell lot of shit again they go to work they face a lot of wrath but what is wrong i believe is that they start throwing weight which is what i don't like don't throw your weight on women who decide not to work here or who have other responsibilities at home I have an entire blog written on it, and I have proudly written it. It's my poem. I I used to write. 
Very nice. It says, yes, I am a housewife. So, and uh, there is nothing. And that's when I started my work because I was also pushed to poll by other society people, not my husband. But uh, to prove a point that women are uh, anything but just something. Just ke haan, you're just an accessory at home and you're supposed to do this. Which is why... So I, um, I would also like to add something, right? Like we're having an amazing discussion, like for example, say right now around feminism, around women empowerment. But the problem I believe is that most of the discussions that happen around women empowerment, around feminism happen in silos. Okay. So like, for example, you must have noticed that first of all, women empowerment ke sare debates just women's day, pe hote hai, just na sare attendees just women. Hote Dusra agar hote hai, to ek alag se panel hota hai, jis panel pe bas khali women hote hai. To agar ye discussion bas khali oh. among women hoga, bas khali on women's day hoga, to ye humme hi rehne wala hai. You know, this is going to be like a bouncing ball that keeps bouncing amongst us. You know, like for example, you said that unfortunately your husband shouldn't hear this and you've never had this conversation with him in 19 years. So the problem is that most of the time this entire debate is either happening in our heads or it's happening within us. Between ourselves. us. Yeah. It needs to get out. And even more right now, because everybody thinks so negatively about feminism. How many times do we actually sit and have this conversation on the sofa table or on the con or at the conference room? You know, because we have to be very embarrassing that we are talking feminism, we will be talking about feminism in a second. कोई सुनना ही नहीं चाहता फेमिनिज्म के बारे में कोई सुनना ही नहीं चाहेगा और साइलोज में ये डिस्कशन होती रहेगी तो ये आगे कैसे बढ़ेगी दैट्स नंबर 1 नंबर 2 इज दिस पॉइंट वाज एक्चुअली क्रिटिकल फॉर अतुल बिकॉज़ समवेयर व्हाट हैपेंस इज इवन व्हेन वी गो आउट विद वेरी वेरी गुड इंटेंशंस यू नो लेट्स टू बी ओके सो समटाइम्स समटाइम्स व्हाट हैपेंस इज इवन व्हेन वी सेट आउट विद वेरी गुड इंटेंशंस सो लेट्स से टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ लॉट ऑफ वेव्स अराउंड वुमेन एंपावरमेंट अराउंड वुमेन इन बिजनेस व्हाट हैपेंस इज सबकॉन्शियसली वी डू नॉट टेक इनटू कंसीडरेशन देयर कन्वीनियंस देयर चॉइसेस फॉर एग्जांपल लेट्स कंसीडर टुडेस टाइमिंग ऑफ द वर्कशॉप ऑब्वियसली इट वाज नॉट कन्वीनिएंट फॉर मी बिकॉज़ मैं बहुत लेट सोकर उठती हूं बट the matter of fact is that even for women who wake up early 9:30 am is not a convenient time to join okay main jitni bhi ladies ko janti hu 9:30 baje koi bhi work koi bhi ek webinar attend nahi kar sakti kyunki ghar ke itne sare kaam chal rahe hote hain to kya hota hai ki jab hum inclusivity ki baat karte hain women empowerment ki baat karte hain hum ye sochte hi nahi hai ki unki kya choice hum bolte hain hum hum nikalte hain to bahut acche intention ke sath hai par hum unke convenience zone ko nahi dekhte comfort to jab hum unke comfort zone ko dekhenge hi nahi to hum aur mahilaon ko table pe layenge kaise kitni sari women ho sakti hai aaj jo is discussion ko actually attend karna chahti par ho sakta hai unke liye time उसमें who can ride in one month and i'm like are you willing to pay them separately are you willing to make do get, do get them through extra training are you willing to you know invest more money into finding these women so that's a no no so the problem is that we go out with the intention of women empowerment but with the ideology of one shoe fits all which is not going to work we're going to have to think of different strategies if we are going to have more women at the table True. okay uh, yeah i would like to add to this so so, so, so far tarandeep tarandeep and uh, mandeep has not spoken so i'll uh, request you to yeah. please give some time yeah, to tarandeep please carry on so uh, you know i second what uh, pavni said you know pavni has said uh, something which has been with me for some time now uh, i come from a different uh, you know school because my mother was working my grandmother was working <coughs> so we came from a different upbringing because we saw women working in our house very strong you know doing the housework at this at the same time they were bread earners as well contributing to the house right my grandmother was a bread owner oh no long time back so i go back to a family where women was always looked up as a working woman 
as i evolved you know i always saw my mother rushing and you know uh, managing the entire house making us uh, you know she was a teacher and then she contributed a lot in our uh, upbringing education academics was very very strong with us but as we moved ahead you know i saw a lot of pressure on my mother as pavni was saying the moment you say that uh, you know uh, we are uh, distinct we are different we are born different because we have that multi skilling uh, uh, tangent to our own selves and uh, that's the bracket which god has given us that we can do multi skilling but my gra- uh, my father was unwell from 35 years of age so my mother had a lot of uh, pressures on herself you know getting up at 4 o'clock uh, reaching school at about 6:37 6, and then managing everything and uh, doing a uh, outside work inside work and managing my father in and out of the hospital but uh, that made us strong indirectly you know i i remember my dad saying girls never get tired i've born with it and i i'm still with it but when i reached uh, you know it's been 20 years i've been married i saw a different school of thought because my grandmother my mother in law is work not working my three sister in laws are not working it was a different mindset altogether you know so i had to really put my foot down you know and there i think my strong conviction played a role because i knew exactly what i wanted in my life and out of my life both you know i'm a very responsible person for me family is important at the same time i'm a very strong career woman i want my uh, growth rate to be an x you know after a period of time so i'm very clear on my goals and objectives which i think is missing in lot of people lot of us lot of females because first of all you have to put on on your uh, story board you know you have to write down what your goals and objectives are you have to draw a line you're not selling ice creams and uh, you know you're not here to just make everybody happy so you should know ki agar aapki responsibility subah ki breakfast ka hai uske baad somebody is not reaching to that particular time of say 9:30 or 10 or whatever you have to draw a line and just request them that you know i'll come back after half an hour this is what i did today in fact atul really <laughs> pushed me because i i told atul atul sare no ka time to impossible for me he said listen you if you have to do you will do so that's what i did i told everybody since yesterday i've been telling everybody ki bhaiya mere sare no se sare das i'm i'm not there so whatever is there on the dining table that's the breakfast laid and whoever is left over i'll do after 10:30 so it's somewhere you have to draw a line because you you know what we all feel guilty we start feeling guilty yeah, agar exactly. hum nahi denge we keep giving in we keep giving in giving out giving in giving out i mean well, come on guys let's own ourselves we also have a hobby we also need our me time we also need to be with our friends we need to have time for ourselves the moment you have time for yourselves i think we'll do wonders otherwise why because the other person will also start respecting you that's what i was telling my husband which i resonated with one of the panel who really said that and i could resonate it you know the moment you say okay mai jhadu laga dunga ya bartan manj dunga either do it completely or you know don't leave it it should not be that the other person then again contributes on the same job wo half done hota hai but you are supposed to do so i i get to hear aaj mera mood nahi hai hello i can't say that because i have to cook for everybody i have to do the jhadu pocha i have to keep the house clean but at the same time i also have to do what my career is demanding you know whether i'm i have to do my learnings to webinars or whatever but you have to draw a line and tell your folks hello manage yourself this is my cut off time i can only deliver till then and then i'll be back after this particular time but we are not having that conviction in our in our own ways of communication because we are assets not clear what we want and fir hum uh, society ko blame karte hain ye nahi ho raha wo nahi you have to be strong first of all number 1 you have to be strong number 2 you should be clear on what you want number 3 put your points across politely but put it put it forth you know half the time we don't know what we have to put forth because we ourselves we don't know what we have to do so that is very important and believe me after 16 15 16 years of wedding marriage i've been torturing my own self now i know what to speak i know where to draw a line i know how i have to bring up my 19 year old son he is contributing in the kitchen he is understanding he is sensitive of course my husband also contribute but then half the things are done half the things are not done usse koi fayda nahi hoga na because again you have to put your hand into it but now put the line to it ki bhaiya ye mere goals hain ye mere objectives hain itna main kar sakti hu main ice creams nahi bechi main sabko khush nahi kar sakti you know this is i am completing my responsibility to the level i want to do and i'm happy delivering it right so somewhere i think we should realize it the balance needs to so, be made uh, can, can i request please mandeep to come in 
Yeah, hi. Lovely conversation. Uh, somehow, uh, people, uh, you know, on this topic, what I feel is that uh, uh, at times either we really polarize it and uh, or, um, you know, we do not see the whole picture, uh, the complete demography of it. Uh, the panelist or whoever spoke till now uh, is uh, mostly concentrated towards, uh, you know, uh, family and family oriented life. Uh, the way we have brought up, the way our backgrounds, my granny used to do this or, you know, my mother or somebody was working. So we were, you know, but if you actually see the complete picture in totality, women issues um, are not really issues. Women behave a certain way. Uh, women are more empathetic. Women are more, uh, you know, uh, they come forth uh, more easily. They would want to, uh, you know, get... Uh, into it and solve things and stuff like that. Uh, they are, uh, I uh, would not really agree with Taran when she says that uh, we do not know. We know, we know uh, what we are doing. Uh, we know exactly, but since that empathy part, that uh, sensitive part is always there. So, you know, we try to give leverage to other people, children, maybe people around. Uh, you would see as, an, as entrepreneurs also, uh, we seek everybody's, um, uh, happiness in whatever that uh, our point is uh, so that doesn't make us um, weak it actually doesn't make us weak we you know take the whole thing in totality so that is actually a strength that you can afford to do it it's a strength it's not a weakness uh, you know you are not sure because you want to give leverage to people around you you definitely are sure but it's just that you you're giving that space uh, you're being sensitive towards everyone. So that's not a weakness. That's actually a strength. So uh, having said that, uh, if we actually see uh, the complete picture as, um, uh, you know, uh, women in uh, other uh, sections of society, uh, if we take, um, you know, uh, economically weaker section, you, you, you should see the grit of women there. You would see women who come from eco economically weaker section out and work. Uh, you know, you should see their grit. Uh, they actually control, uh, you know, their entire household and everybody value their, they know, ye nahi bahar jayegi, to ghar mein roti nahi aayegi. So it is not only us, we have to see the complete. Now, I mean, I was just, uh, you know, all of us are reading so much on social media, on webs and uh, print media about the current situation. If you actually go to see women, uh, the countries who have really, really controlled this pandemic or this uh, difficult uh, situations well are all led by, uh, you know, women. Look at uh, Taiwan, the country which is just 130 kilometers away from China and the way the president has uh, controlled it. They, they have hard, hardly any fatalities and uh, they have really controlled the whole thing. Uh, you look at Germany, they started off... Uh, uh, with uh, so many casualties and now um, uh, they have really controlled the whole thing well. New Zealand, Iceland, uh, all these, uh, uh, you know, uh, countries are led by women. Why? Because one, we are very uh, quick to take decisions. We are quick to take lead. Thirdly, we, uh, you know, uh, another very um, uh, positive thing about women is they do not shy away from seeking opinion. So in this case, uh, you know, women have been seeking opinion from the experts. Probably men, they take up on themselves. Look at um, US president, you know, is he really looking uh, or taking, seeking advice from his, uh, uh, you know, um, the professionals into it, uh, people into the field. No, he is taking uh, the shots. So probably that time, uh, women, uh, in this scenario, probably people would think that if you are asking 100 people, confidence will not be. No, that is not true. If you are not in that field and if you are seeking opinion, what is the harm? So take that thing back home. What, why uh, do you question a woman if she is asking her uh, uh, you know, family that uh, should I do this? If she is asking the elders, should I do this? She is not weak. She is strong to take your opinion. Think about it. And then empathetic. P women are empathetic. 
uh, uh, look at uh, you know figures around again from the hum log sabse zyada baat aajkal isi ke liye kar rahe hain to main isliye examples utha rahi hu empathetic hai isliye new zealand ne sabse pehle apne borders band kar diya towards tourism a country which is led and economy is totally cover, you know um, uh, dependent on uh, tourism they said no shut borders don't do this because uh, uh, she valued the li- lives of people more than the economy look at the president trump he is saying no so today also after 33000 plus casualties he is not ready to shut down economy Completely. because he do not want to uh, you know uh, step back or uh, want to lose the status of uh, being the economic force of the world so empathy so uh, do not take all these qualities of a woman as uh, negative or that we are not strong if you uh, are a person uh, who is uh, into an inclusive uh, uh, strategy when you are like you know here uh, uh, polarization uh, political atmosphere but i feel that uh, inclusive policies are something which will go a long way uh, and uh, other things you know if you really uh, stretch things to one end are um, like uh, short lived so this is my uh, <laughs> right very well said uh, now i just wanted to mention uh, in very brief you know whatever i said was not uh, to reflect that uh, that was not as that is not a strength in fact we are very beautiful we are bundles of strength and all those points are reflecting our strength you know it was actually meant for a different uh, angle what i meant to say is that people around us are also full of strength now if i say india modi has really led the team so, so uh, we Tar- Taran, uh, you know it's a <clears throat> beautiful turn but- may may request mummy to speak so yeah, we yeah, sure. uh, we've uh, heard from uh, uh, maybe two generations let us look at the third generation as well so right. uh, this is that generation which has probably uh, experienced much more constraint then what our generation or maybe what uh, pavnis times are right yeah. so let us hear from her anji <laughs> mummy hamare time pe sab kuch hai maa pooch ke karti thi kyunki agar papa ki rai nahi hogi to kaam nahi hoga lekin rai unki li jati thi hamesha और वही हम लोगों की आदत है कि हम जो भी बात करते हैं आज भी एक मीटिंग की तरह बात करके फिर कोई डिसीजन लेते हैं और यही कारण है कि आज हम इस जगह पे पहुंच गए हैं आई थिंक आप सब को भी कोऑपरेशन से एक दूसरे के अंडरस्टैंडिंग से लाइफ को चलाना है इग्नोर करना बंद कर दो एक दूसरे को जब एक को इग्नोर करते हैं तो बहुत पीछे चला जाता है इम्पोर्टेंस दो इम्पोर्टेंस मिलेगी एक दूसरे के सेंटिमेंट्स होते हैं वो एक दूसरे को वेलकम करते हैं कभी हर्ट भी कराओगे ना तो अंदर से फील होगा कि मैंने गलत किया वो जरूर आपको अंडरस्टैंड करेंगे ये हमारी अपनी सोसाइटी है हमारे बच्चे हैं हमारे हस्बैंड के बिना ये सोसाइटी जब कंप्लीट नहीं हो सकती अगर वो कंप्लीट मतलब कोऑपरेट करते हैं तो हम बिजनेस घर दोनों को आगे ले जा सकते हैं वो कोऑपरेट नहीं करते तो हम नहीं ले जा सकते ये हमारी वीकनेस नहीं है स्ट्रेंथ है कैन आई से समथिंग लाइक आफ्टर हैविंग हर्ड द जेन एक्स एंड बेबी वूमर्स and the generation before that, i would like to say a couple of things number one i think going forward what is it that we can do to create a more equitable society having heard from these two generations i want to say that going forward the generations in the future my generation your daughters and when i say we i'm talking about all of us not just the women in the house we need to understand that there is a difference between seeking opinions and seeking permissions both of them are two different things number two i think cooperation needs to come from both the sides number 3 women leaders need to take up more responsibility i'll give you an example uh, say healthcare sector hai healthcare sector mein 75% of the frontline workers are women 
all around the world that's an average percentage uh, however uh, on the top there are only 33% okay now I, there are a lot of reasons why the glass ceiling exists but and i i don't think that there is something that we can directly do about the healthcare sector aaj mujhe koi bole are papi pata hai tumhe aise glass ceiling hai healthcare mein aur sabhi sectors mein uske bare mein kuch karo to shayad main kuch karu bhi to usse koi farak na pade but what i can do is for example hum sabke societies mein ek society ki samiti hoti hai ek association hoti hai meri building mein bhi hai usme hamesha the only men I have been striving with all the uncles ki please add the women in the is building mein aurte bhi rehti hain unko aap is association mein lana chalu kar rahe hain my second challenge was wo aa bhi gayi usme to bechari wo meeting mein hi nahi ja payengi because uncles ki meeting hoti hai 10 baje 11 baje subah 10 baje so you know these are challenges that all of us can do something about हम बड़ी बड़ी चीजों के बारे में बहुत बार बात करते हैं जिनके बारे में शायद हम कुछ ना कर पाए बट ऑल द मैन एंड ऑल द वुमेन स्पेशली इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वेबिनार दैट आर देयर वी नीड टू आस्क कि हम क्या क्या छोटी छोटी चीजें कर सकते हैं क्या इट इज इट माइट माइट बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर मी टू इलेक्ट अ प्रेसिडेंट और अ प्राइम मिनिस्टर हु इज अ फीमेल फॉर इंडिया यू नो और इवन हैव अ इम्पैक्ट इन इट बट इट इज पॉसिबल फॉर मी टू हैव वेमेन इन माई बिल्डिंग लोकल local body so let's start taking uh, more actions towards it also just like you keep glorifying women right we i i mean some women might want that glorification to stop some might be okay with it right but i think it is also important to stop glorifying guys i see lockdown ke time pe there are a lot of men who are doing uh, amazing work in terms of how much they are um, contributing to all the work that is being done but we cannot be glorifying it glorifying them for it right like my mom gets so happy if my dad moves a bartan i'm like it's okay he was supposed to be doing it all throughout your life he did not please stop glorifying it now okay you can maybe appreciate them so that they keep that they keep motivated but cannot glorify it yeah so can i say something here uh, with your permission with the permission of yeah. the panel Yes, you do. Right. Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm one of those men um, who learned knitting. Okay, so I, I knitted a pair of uh, socks for my grandfather. This is a domain which is like very, very, very feminine. Okay, um, I've grown up in a family which had. Uh, a fair say of uh, women i would not say excessive say or less say A- and what i would uh, uh, what i've come and after this conversation um, i've come to a, a kind of uh, understanding that as human beings we used to lead with brute force okay if we go back a couple of centuries brute force was the way of life and at that time whatsoever the reason would have been men were dealing with the brute force and they kept on uh, continuing with that and then they kept on taking care of their w- women i am saying their women sorry that may be a tip, uh, 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 something which comes from uh, uh, centuries of uh, load but today we are graduating from that okay i can hear a lot of anguish in all the conversations so far okay my request to you is the next conversation that we have immediately after this let us have a conversation ki ji ye hua okay what next where do we want to take it how is it that we can alter it today we have that opportunity okay and i would request you to, yes we've seen the household piece we've seen the personal uh, arena if we can bring it towards the business arena i think that will be great and if you want to continue with the uh, the the personal front i'm okay with that also all right the intention of this panel or bringing this together was to look at something so uh, i'm sure all of you would be feeling lighter that you've been able to share express certain aspects which you may not have expressed earlier all right yeah yeah so probably if you give me permission to say something please, please, in please, brief please, please. yeah okay uh, so you know um... just, just 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 a moment uh, riddhi she is not able to join us 
I have asked her to share a message, and she has just sent it. I'll just read it out to you, and then Taran, you can take it from there. So she says, no "Be yourself and be aware. Business doesn't understand gender, so let's keep entrepreneurship off from gender bias." But yes, I do say that women's approach towards entrepreneurship is holistic, unlike men. Women are born empathetic. So this is probably what uh, 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 Mandeep was also saying. Uh, 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 women are born empathetic and they take care of their teams along them when it comes to growth of an organization ratan tata and a few more have certainly broken this myth though okay also please apologize on my behalf uh, and do state the reason that she is dealing with the case and she is right there right now okay so nice. this was from uh, riddhi Uh, in her absence okay uh, there is uh, one uh, person baljeet kaur she has been uh, itching to say something yeah, yeah yeah okay so baljeet can you please uh, unmute yourself and uh, share what is it that you have to share yeah good morning everyone and this is my first experience and it it's just amazing and wonderful conversations happening there thank you uh, would you like to switch on the video uh no <laughs> Okay, no worries. <laughs> I'm not ready. I just woke up. <laughs> Absolutely so, fine. So, uh, so, but uh, itni achi conversation chal rahi thi. So, raha nahi kya bolne bina. So, <laughs> I just wanted to jump in. Right. Uh, so, uh, 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 Auntie ji ne jo bol. Yeah. Kuch koi kuch keh raha tha. I think abhi. Ne, you wanted to say something. Okay. 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 Yes. 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 So, my sir, Baljeet Kaur, and I'm a psychologist. I'm from Ludhiana, Punjab. So, Auntie Ji, की conversation सुनने से पहले, I was feeling like कि कुछ different thought है, whether I should put there or not. Uh, but thank you, Auntie Ji, for putting value uh, in the conversation. So, um, what thank I you. feel, <laughs> so what I feel कि बहुत सारा कुछ transform हुआ, बहुत सारे changes आए, Auntie Ji की generation से Uh, hamari generation tak i am 40 years old and i have two daughters my elder daughter is 18 years so what i feel uh, about women is that it's not about the society uh, challenges our existence i feel we all the time don't acknowledge our own existence and we all the time seeking uh, uh, permission or approvals so uh, and the jo mere ko jo nazar aata hai wo ye hai ki Uh, एक मॉडल था जो आंटी जी की जनरेशन ने एक्सपीरियंस किया लिविंग मॉडल फॉर अमेन एंड एक वो मॉडल है जो हम एक्सपीरियंस कर रहे हैं एंड एग्जैक्टली जो अभी अतुल जी ने कहा कि सारी कॉन्वर्सेशन से बड़ा ज्यादा एक एग्रेशन सुनने को मिला और वो सोसाइटी में दिखता है वेन यू टॉक टू एटीन ईयर्स ओल्ड गर्ल्स दे फील लाइक कि बींग अमेन दे हैव टू फाइट थ्रू आउट द लाइफ एंड Uh, जो वो हमारी कॉन्वर्सेशन से लेते हैं दैट इज कि घर अगर आप काम कर रहे हो या आप पढ़ रहे हो तो घर का काम करना कुछ बुरा है मतलब इफ यू आर अर्निंग वेमेन देन यू शुड नॉट रिस्पेक्ट योर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज एट होम सो आई फील कि लाइक सबने बोला कि यू नो वी आर बॉर्न विद दैट एम्पथी एंड मल्टी टास्किंग ये बट we i feel we are not living that we are saying that but we are not living that 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 is what i am blessed with and uh, success is all about the balance in relationship and whatever else you do like job or professionally aap kuch bhi karte ho if the balance is not there you can never enjoy your own accomplishments also to aapke dimag mein aur dil mein hamesha shor hi rahega and when i feel when you accomplish something and when your own husband is not there to uh, acknowledge or applause that wo bhi koi bahut achhi feeling nahi hogi so i feel ki uh, we need to understand ki yes changes aa rahe hain bahut acche people are accepting uh, ki women uh, career oriented hai women should goal oriented but what i expect uh, from our own selves as women that we need to uh, you know acknowledge our own existence in much positive way that we should understand that we are not in the world to uh, to claim or 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 to prove that i exist we are there not to mereko mere husband se race nahi lagani mereko kisi aur man se race nahi lagani i am there to compliment 
देयर ओन देयर देयर एग्जिस्टेंस सो औरत और आदमी को मेरे को लगता है एक दूसरे को कॉम्प्लीमेंट करने के लिए बनाया गया था और आज जो बच्चे हमारी डिस्कशन से सुनते हैं वो है कि uh, हमें अपनी इक्वालिटी को प्रूव करना है सो दिस इज वॉट और मेरे को उस उसका जो इम्पैक्ट सोसाइटी पे नजर आता है बिकॉज दैट इज माई प्रोफेशन एंड वो वहां पे निकल के आता है देर इज अज डिफरेंस एंड एंगर इन यंगर जनरेशन देर आर नो ब्यूटिफुल रिलेशनशिप इन आर फैमिलीज वहां पे पेरेंट्स बच्चों के लिए रोल मॉडल्स नहीं है इन देअर रिलेशनशिप दे दे नेवर वॉन्ट टू बी कपल लाइक देयर ओन पेरेंट्स सो वहां पे इन डिस्कशन में हमें वहां पे ला के खड़ा कर दिया जहाँ पे वी आर नॉट इवन मे बी वी आर नॉट लिस्निंग टू आर ओन कॉन्वर्सेशन सो माई इनपुट आर की बहुत कुछ अच्छा हो रहा है और वीमेन ने बहुत अच्छी अचीवमेंट्स कर ली है and let's accept ourselves the way we are and the way we are not and believe me it's not about approvals or proving ye sara kuch to hamare khud ke subconscious mind mein fit hua hua hai aur hum apni betiyon ko abhi bhi de rahe hain so can i can yeah. i please uh, i'm sorry i'm sorry to stop you valji uh, uh, ji interrupt you primarily yeah, sure, but sure. i really want to point out certain things atul ji said Okay, we need to discuss what is it that we want to do going forward to improve the situation. But the thing is that until we clarify certain basics, we cannot move forward. Okay. So number one to point out a fact: the truth is that in India, female labour force participation, मतलब कितनी महिलाएं economy में contribute कर रही हैं, 2005 के बाद से इतना नीचे जा चुका है कि हम Saudi Arabia से भी नीचे हैं. वो देश जहाँ पे कुछ साल पहले महिलाओं को गाड़ी चलाना अलाउड नहीं था हम उस देश से पीछे हैं दिस इज स्टैटिस्टिक्स ओके नंबर वन तो हमें हम किसी तरह के मिथ में नहीं रह सकते कि हम बहुत आगे जा रहे हैं हम बहुत प्रोग्रेस uh, कर रहे हैं प्लीज लेट्स नॉट लिव अंडर दैट बबल हो सकता है कि चीजें पिछले पांच दस साल में बेटर हुई हूँ पंद्रह साल में बेटर हुई हूँ बट बेटर का डेफिनेशन क्या ये होता है कि मैं जीन्स पहनने लग गई हूँ अपने घर में या मैं पार्टीज में जाने लग गई हूँ बेटर का डेफिनेशन बस ये नहीं होता ठीक है बेटर का डेफिनेशन हमें ये देखना पड़ेगा कहीं ना कहीं कि हमारी ग्लास सीलिंग कितनी कम हुई है जो की नहीं हुई है है ना तो आई डोंट थिंक इट इज ओनली ऑफ कोर्स टू ऑल द वुमेन आई वुड आई ऑल्सो से यार अपने आप को हमें प्रूफ करने की जरूरत नहीं है बट एट द सेम टाइम प्लीज दैट नॉट फॉर द एंटायर अच्छा एक चीज सो दिस कॉल वाज सपोज्ड टू बी टिल 10:30 वी आर एट 10:33 <laughs> आई इनवाइट एवरीबॉडी टू एक्सटेंड दिस कन्वर्सेशन टिल 11:00 इफ दैट वर्क्स फॉर यू सो नंबर 1 लेट्स नॉट लिव इन एनी काइंड ऑफ यू नो फॉल्स अजम्पशंस बिकॉज़ statistics say that female labor force participation has actually gone down in india it is not improved okay there are less of women working today than there were 20 years ago <laughs> than there were in manjeet ji's generation and atul's mother's generation which is actually very very sad number 2 everything is not on the women ki hame apne hame bolna chahiye hame wo karna chahiye obviously hum apne haq ke liye bole hum apni aage se apne opinion sakte wo sab theek hai lekin fir bhi hum ye nahi keh sakte ki sab kuch hamari galti agar hum nahi bol rahe kyunki concepts like glass ceiling do exist wo maine nahi create kara hai wo already hai that it exists so hum unko bhool nahi sakte hai na number 3 i will take this main apna khud ka example leke batati hu theek hai mujhe family mein ghar ke kaam mein apna contribute karna chahiye main manti hu aur ye meri responsibility hai main ye bhi manti hu lekin jab tak main apne bhai ko karte hue nahi dekhungi i am sorry i am not going to get out of my bed now you can call this rebellion you can call this whatever you want but i need my brother to be doing equal things he is also at the house he is also working from home mai mai akele kyun apni responsibilities lu yaar and the same thing is going to happen when i get married also so as much collaboration and cooperation is required from my side it is required from every man in my life also avni i i i would like to add here uh sorry to say but this uh, kind of uh, behavior or maybe the attitude would not take you for a to a longer way because you cannot expect males to uh, do deliveries or be pregnant so that uh, i mean you're competing you with your brother it's okay you do your bit you do your bit let him understand analyze realize it with the course of time you can always educate him you can always do the uh, division of work 
लाइक से भाई तू ये करेगा मैं ये करूंगी राइट सो सो वी आर ऑलरेडी डूइंग दैट बेड एंड यू वुड नॉट डू बिकॉज़ ही इज नॉट डूइंग एंड व्हाट आई मीन टू से इज व्हाट आई मीन टू से इज एग्जैक्टली दैट राइट व्हाट यू आर सेइंग दैट्स एग्जैक्टली व्हाट आई मीन दैट ही नीड्स टू बी आल्सो टेकिंग अप चार्ज ऑब्वियसली अगर मतलब अल्टीमेटली मैं भूखी हूं तो मैं उठ के अपने लिए बना ही लूंगी और उसके लिए भी बना दूंगी बट सेकंडली एनी वुमेन एंड सेकंडली एनी वुमेन हु इज मोटिवेटेड टू डू एनीथिंग नोबडी नो सोसाइटी नो गवर्नमेंट वुड ask a woman to uh, put down their food or foot or maybe get down on or stoop down if somebody wants to do you he or she can do i mean who's stopping you said that okay, i want to chip in here uh, uh, wonderful mm. conversation uh, uh, preeti ji and uh, pavani uh, to take this uh, a, a notch up i would want to say uh, <laughs> that uh, you know um, Uh, in our own uh, personal spheres what we can do and what we should do is sensitize society towards women exactly. issue exactly exactly uh, so uh, it uh, methods could be different it will have yes. to be different in uh, different arenas different uh, situations uh, different uh, uh, problems uh, coming to that uh, um, it is our uh, not only women's responsibility to sensitize uh, the society it is every uh, you exactly. know uh, persons yeah. um, uh, like uh, somebody uh, so i think pavani mentioned in the very beginning ke uh, women uh, issues mein sare panels mein discuss hote hain exactly. exactly so that that's a wonderful point we yes as uh, you know a evolved society the section of the evolved society should take up the endeavor to sensitize the complete society towards women issue and that's it because each individual will have a uh, loads of stories and histories behind it and uh, the way we have evolved so uh, now since uh, if we call ourselves intellectuals if we are here discussing the topic the way forward is as uh, atulji asked uh, ki what is the way forward to this is sensitize the society uh, so having started with uh, yeah Just I will just add to it. Me, yeah. Please complete. Uh, you know uh, what is happening uh, is that uh, otherwise also the problems that the society uh, was going through, and now in this uh, special times, uh, I was also reading that uh, uh, people were. You will be astonished to know that uh, uh, domestic violence cases have uh, actually jumped up to almost forty percent in True. India. Uh, so uh, i mean unless we really sensitize people uh, all this will really be um, at stagger head so uh, there are so many to uh, tell you like sorry but me, me being a lawyer i am facing this every day i am getting uh, complaints and calls and uh, trust me the only way to rope in the couples may be working or non working money whichever class they are trust me the only way is to rope in rope in them with domestic responsibilities get the kitchen stuff buy yeah, the vegetables yeah. get the ration you know uh, take children to outings all that stuff rope in hum- human uh, relationships and that yeah. is the only way we are being able to rope them up i do a lot of counseling for couples who come to me for divorce cases and uh, i am getting a lot of complaints during this time especially because people are sitting back at home they are frustrated they don't know what to do there are many constraints and what they do is best thing beat up their wife exactly so that is Aarti, what is happening uh, yeah so the thing is uh, uh, as you said rope in now what has happened we also heard uh, um, uh, aunty uh, you know her story we 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 uh, been discussing you know and we actually discussed three generations back and uh, coming generations and things like that see what is uh, happening is that uh, uh, training if you just uh, you know uh, the word training we when uh, i am uh, uh, someone in uh, my mid 40s uh, when uh, i was born or when i was schooling when i was a teenager certain norms were now at, at this point of time for, uh, for my children are not normal certain things which were normal at our time are not normal now we are you know every day inching towards new norms new normals so training uh, the way we were trained or the way we are now training our children it has def- uh, definitely ev- uh, you know 
has a part in uh, the evolution of the society definitely so that effort will have to go on hum hum kabhi ek time tha hamare mothers ye soch bhi nahi sakte the ki fathers kitchen mein ja ke khana banayenge lekin aaj hamare husbands hamare sath khade hai na kyunki humne us tarah se unko bana diya hai ya wo situation is exactly mandeep ji exactly what i was also trying to say from the beginning that let's not become sour because of course there are a lot of difficulties all of us are facing but also you have to realize today we are in a forum and there are men Yes, but Abdul Ji is a son uh, of what will happen is you cannot push it. Yeah, these things are gradual. Yes, One cannot exactly. Or can you say that? Yes, exactly. 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 Yes, that we all have to balance everything we have to speak our mind but do it nicely we don't have to become like that oh my god if you don't do this i will divorce you or whatever right. nicely do it we uh, i would just be strong but the leader has i would just like to take it forward here you know and uh, whatever and whatever just, just, uh, just uh, let us yeah anita yeah anita can you please share you need to unmute yourself yeah yeah yeah, uh, yeah thank you so much in fact it's wonderful hearing such diverse views uh, just wanted to add something that uh, i have been interacting with women uh, on uh, you know a scale of thousands of them my profession has been such and uh, i'm probably of a mid generation which is like uh, somewhere between auntie g and the younger uh, girls who are talking up here now the thing is that i have felt that to move forward what is most important is that at the level of education at the level of elementary education this whole uh, thing of uh, you know tuning in to uh, not just looking at a career where you go out and earn money for boys and do home science for girls there should be a equality in education level and the wonderful thing is that when you actually go down to the ground level you will see each one has their own likings and uh, specializations you will wonder some of the boys some of the men are doing wonderful in the field of cooking and as you know such well known names so it's just because the tuning has been such our generation has the owners that we bring up boys and men who are uh, you know uh, open you know rather than they have a prejudice against uh, doing housework or they have a prejudice against women you know because i have also seen that there are so many boys today who don't want to get married because there is so much of women empowerment and women and girls getting aggressive that i am i am a you know i am equal to you i am earning like you so that's fine at workplace so let's rise up as women to match up to our expected to the expectations of our businesses or of our jobs also because if in the morning if i am called up at 9 o'clock or 9:30 i shouldn't be shirking sorry means i was also one of those like itni subha subha times and but somewhere we have to match up that thing also if there is a job to be done if there is a business there has to be a system there has to be a process which whether you are a man or a woman has to be adhered yes if you are pregnant if you are looking after a child let's give her a maybe a part time option maybe a, you know limited working hours not without a prejudice to that so our generation has is is really on that kind we have a burden that the kind of men we are going to raise that thing what arun said that you know it's that thing ingrained i have a very 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 supportive husband but that what is ingrained comes up when things are not working right so i think uh, somewhere this has to come up to a consensus because if the economy has to run with only 30 40 20 30% of the women working how can we have a, a blossoming economy how can we have a country which is doing well how can we become a developed or a developing country unless we have equal number of people working and i i also know there are so many men who are who love you know to take care of homes so 
एंड देर इज अ टबू ऑन सच काइंड ऑफ मैन ओके वो कपड़े धोता है यू नो मीन्स दैट काइंड ऑफ टबू हैज टू गो अवे सो इट्स बोथ वेज आई नो बिकॉज ऑफ फिजिकल एंड you know basically the brute strength which has been ingrained into the male gender that uh, thing of uh, taking advantage comes up but then what holds us women back from looking after our fitness and making sure that with our mental strength we don't let another person who is physically more uh, st- uh, stronger than us to get uh, you know control of our lives so and we are now in a generation where we can do it there was a time when we were not being heard of when we were really being silenced and put under the carpet that like they are uh, going to be talking like that but then to create our place in the commercial world in the economy in the business we need to be more disciplined not look out for favors at the time when it is suitable to us no so we both ways it's are going it's yes it is unfair to have that responsibility it is unfair to be looking at that you know i should bring up men and i should sensitize but sorry that's that's the way it has been so that's my two pennies i just couldn't uh, stop myself because uh, that's what i have experienced that sometimes now even men are being uh, you know when they are really being dominated sometimes i have seen that rare cases but yes that that is happening this world that men are scared boys are scared to get married these days that is because of the expectation of women law and that is because these laws were made for the women who were suffering and wo aaj bhi suffer kar rahi hain unke paas aaj bhi wo provisions nahi hai wo aaj bhi court nahi aa pati hain aur jo court aati hain they उसमें से जेन्युन सिर्फ 20 परसेंट केसेस होते हैं रेस्ट एटी परसेंट आर यू नो क्रिएटेड और यू नो जस्ट जस्ट कुकड अप सो आई विल टोटली अग्री विद यू ऑन दैट बट हैविंग सेड दैट आई कम फ्रॉम एन एनवायरमेंट वेयर वी आई वाज एट पार विद माय ब्रदर आई वाज वी वर गिवन इक्वल एजुकेशन एवरीथिंग बट द राइट टू टेक द डिसीजन was never with us we always had to seek approval from the men of the house this is something which i am looking forward to so, from the so, next uh, generations for the girls to get more decisive at Again, this stage we, uh, can i say something yes please yeah so this is something called as the rat in the room syndrome okay it is not published anywhere i am uh, saying it right now so if there is a rat in the room there are three things we can do all right one thing is we can uh, take a broom and go after the rat and beat him black and blue okay so then what will happen we will have the stains on the uh, on, uh, in the room the person who is going after the rat uh, she will get uh, uh, exhausted okay you will pick up the rat after some time half dead and throw him out and you will still have the stains in the room first scenario second scenario is we put the medicine the chap eats it he goes and dies somewhere third scenario we open the door usher him out he goes out and he blesses thanks god i admit him in a house who is generous enough to let me go out live okay now consider this rat is a man how would you treat him okay we men are like rats and we have got into this situation over a couple of centuries over a, over a couple of millennia all right now if we want to get into a stage that one man a uh, one upmanship we will be in the situation of a broom and the rat all right and let's not have a conversation on top of this just think about it so, okay, we will not go anywhere if we uh, it will not go anywhere so uh, let me just bring back the attention towards uh, the topic which was backbone of the business so yeah. i already replied in the uh, group which we have done the men men folk technically we have not uh, i'm not i mean right now i'm not being a feminist but uh, technically when the men folk is required to earn and the women ta- women folk is whatever even if she is earning or not earning she is required to take care of the household 
so all the man can do is get food to add nutrition to the food is the woman's job to make sure that each one eats the quantity which is required as per the health is the woman's job the man can construct a house to make it a home is the woman's job to convert the money into wealth to whatever extent the man is earning to make everyone feel rich and abundant is the woman's job this is and this is not that uh, it's our job it said we do it naturally complimenting yeah it's natural i mean hame kisi ne sikhaya nahi hai ya hamari ye koi unsaid said duty nahi hai kuch nahi hai it is just that we do it naturally and we do it in a better way than anyone else that is how we are genetically made and the same is when we do it in our business so we take care of uh, very well said by the girl who is not uh, present here riddhi we take care of the holistic development of the business so i as a professional when people come to me i do not only take care of their case i just take care of their mental stability their financials i just ask them whether they can afford my fees or not how are they going to manage it and whether they are you know uh, at par and at pace with the way i want them to work and what is all that is required so trust me i tell my clients mm-hmm. to do affirmations because that gives me strength to work further on their case so that is a holistic development that only a woman can do imagine a man lawyer who would be talking to his client write these affirmations every day <laughs> the, the client will never go back to the lawyer again but it is our convincing it is our counseling it is our psychological uh, treatment that we give to who meet us who talk to us so when i started business i was just 22 years old and i had staff it was 40 years old also and for every headache or a stomach ache they used to run to me as if i was their mother so i was i've been mothering uh, people since i'm 22 years when i was i didn't have a baby of my own so that is what a woman is all about that is why we are the backbone that is why we are what we are so be any woman trust me if we are not there even if we are sitting at home even if we are home makers men cannot go out and work if we are not the backbone of the house if we are not there sitting back at home what atul said rightly that he sits there because his mother is there at the back so this is my take on the backbone business and women and that is how we are please start respecting each other that is the most important thing which is lacking as yet in women we don't respect each other we have an inherent trait of jealousy we have a very good inherent trait of bitching stop that please stop that that is just taking us way down and that is why men are superior yet than us it will let's not, not compete somewhere. each other let's yeah yes let's support each other let's yes let's complement each, each other point. yes point. let's yes. complement each other that's what i want L- let's you start so winding up okay yeah. thanks aarti uh, the next one please so preeti you want to say yeah yeah i just wanted to end up like this that you know it is our choice to be an entrepreneur or to be working so we cannot crib so decision was ours to be going ahead and work so we cannot sit back and say that he doesn't do this he doesn't do that we have to train them what we want if we will put our things forward i don't think so our husbands or our brothers or our father are so uh, you know ruthless or rude that they would not understand this so they are also backbone and we are also backbone of each other so we have to respect and we have to make sure this relationship becomes beautiful uh, whether we are working or we are not working so that's how and coming back to entrepreneurship uh, as in business of course as a woman we are more empathetic because i had run a women oriented company wherein i have 90% of females working and 10% of males and we take care of every bit of them we know that if they are coming late why they are coming late and we can empathize with it so definitely we have a long way to go ahead and uh, we should respect each other thank you and okay so uh, preeti i got a question of you right yeah you are one of those people wherein your husband he has quit his corporate job and he has joined your business yes right? yes this is one of those rare things so yeah. what is it kya khilati ho <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, you know uh, since beginning i have been married since last 19 years 
and uh, my father in law was md bokaro steel plant so very very professional uh, 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 professional family and what who, where i belong to was a very orthodox family before marriage with you know so when i got married my father in law gave me all the chances to take risk so he always used to say that rajiv uh, you are in a comfort zone be there because he was too protected towards rajiv his son you know initially it started like that and i was the one who was put uh, you know in front of the fire all the time but i grew with it you know whatever challenges came into my life i took them very positively i never complained that why and i would not mind saying this that when i was working uh, i started working in year 1998 when i got married in 2000 so uh, you know it was not that i was working only i was taking care of the family as well so by taking lot of risks and all so uh, after uh, completing my uh, you know tenure uh, with the, my old company i started this brand called pacholi 10 years back so we were growing so well so i always used to tell rajiv that why don't you come and join but, but he was very happy but now of late rajiv got an opportunity to go and settled in uk from his own company where he was working but then he chose to be with the, me because he felt that it's our own venture we can really do very well being together and i have a daughter who's 12 years and rajiv has been always supporting me he is not the uh, those husbands who would say ye mera nahi hai ye tera kaam hai and i mean giving milk to her in the morning 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock he used to give me good backup so that's how i think in my case i would proudly say that my husband is my backbone to reach here and today he is the backbone of my business also and it's our together and coming back to the time also i think when we get up early i'm i'm giving reply to pavni also pavni if you manage time well which i see i have seen in this new generation they sleep so late so they get up late so when you do not see mornings then definitely the day goes haywire so try and manage your days manage time make a time table things to do i think you'll be able to attend any meeting even at 6 o'clock also in the morning my point was not regarding you know i i and i did say that i got so, a so, place so, so i didn't please, want to count no, no, myself please, in please that. take this conversation <laughs> offline one on one let's <laughs> yeah, yeah we will do that we will do that and thanks to uh, rajiv and that's how he could leave his job and he's supporting and uh, he's taking care of one part of uh, our venture which is all finance and all which is his forte so we are doing pretty well there yes fantastic thank so you so can i can i summarize yeah, please, uh, my please, entire please 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 yeah yeah uh, thanks thanks atul so uh, i mean definitely the clearly difference in opinions in all the generations and uh, what i'd like to really point out is again coming back to facts let's not forget that female labor force participation in india is going down continuously Okay, we are in a very very shameful spot when it comes to that, and a primary reason for this. Now, this is again a research. I am not putting this out of my mind. This is a research that one of the primary reasons why this happens is because women have double pressure of work, pressure of work at home and at work. So let's try and create. strive for societies where everybody in the family works irrespective of their gender and everybody in the family contributes to the work at home irrespective of their gender okay that's one i think everybody would agree to this irrespective of what generation we belong to but something that i feel going forward okay and i i'm going to take a personal example and i think here is a point where everybody might disagree you all are married and you talked about how training your husband is important okay i am not and i'll tell you what when i am going to get married i am going to find a feminist husband and if it doesn't work out i am not going to train him na to main uski teacher hu na main uski maa hu jo main usko samjhau uh, i will obviously try but if it doesn't work out i am not going to you know uh, think ki yaar i am i have to train it is not my responsibility to so uh, and i think that's okay it is not necessary for you all to agree with me on this point but i also think that it's okay it is not my responsibility to train anybody on feminism on equality on what their responsibility should be uh, and i think i strongly think that most girls today we should stop telling them to adjust 
as much we should tell them to adjust as much as we tell our guys my dad taught me how to drive taught me how to fight everything but i think it's also important that we tell our boys how to do all the other things and i think that's one of the primary reasons why things break out is because women today know how to do so much but guys are still stuck on you know hanging on to the same stream of thoughts and probably the same skill sets of course there are exceptions but we need to make this theory more acceptable i feel um pavni i just had a point there uh, i believe you are running a, a place where you have a lot of women coming in for ola and uh, a lot of people right. come to you for the whole job scenario tell me when they come to you do they really come to you with all learned skills or do you train them we train them and also like i said train. right one, one, yes, one, one, yes. Yes. i might just i just have a point there which which is i'm trying to get to See, it's not about training men. It's not about training women. Don't you think you're becoming an extremist? Because we are becoming the men we don't like in the first place, an extreme woman. What I'm trying to tell here is that we need to balance. So, if it's training your husband, it's not about it, he's not learned in the beginning. When we can train women to be a driver, that, when we can train a woman to right? be an owner, that, owner, owner. If, I mean, that's what I'm saying. So, honestly, let me just finish. Then you can give me your point of view. There's not a problem. All I'm trying to tell you, Pavni, here is it's balance. You are becoming the man you don't like by being an extremist. No, well said. That's not balance. Very well said. Please try and understand my point again. Pavni, the, again, the thing is, you are not coming out the way we all women are understanding you. If women can't Probably understand I'll you, try harder. Man. Probably yeah, I'll all try I'm trying harder. to tell you, baby, is that we understand. I understand. <laughs> we are all experienced women here, and we have all had marriages, broken marriages, Fantastic. entrepreneurship, everything. But balance in any job, whether you're a trainer, whether you're a mother, whether you're let's, a wife, uh, whether you're just an entrepreneur. I'm not we, talking about let, non-balancing. Let, let's 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 go towards uh, winding up the conversation. I'm saying less yeah. balance. Yeah, <laughs> That's please. exactly ah, what I'm saying. That is I'm very important. Saying that I'm not going to teach somebody, you know. Not right, now. So, Maybe if okay, they were born it. like you know. End of the yes. day, we all need backup of each other. We can't survive in isolation. so be it a male or a female we need to give a backup to each other and be a backbone to each other yes all right exactly. so look at atul ji today he is done main thing we are all here we are talking about backbone of women yeah. we cannot so, break everything down to negativity yes yes yes, yes. so at, at this point i would like to give one more of atul puri gems okay mm-hmm. uh, i keep on saying dryai patthar golakar hote hain right if you don't get this the uh, pebbles from the river are round okay you go up into the mountains you will have brittle uh, rocks which are pierced all right uh, as the same stone which it keeps on rolling inside the river it keeps on getting rounded okay why these women who are married for a couple of years for a couple of they are behaving this way and why pavni is behaving an x way and why my mother is behaving that way is because these pebbles have become rounded over the years we are okay to the imperfections which the other guys have yes okay so uh, so so uh, for all your benefit uh, i am somebody who is divorced okay i was married for 13 years i got a daughter who's 15 years old i know what it is to be brittle and i also know what it is to have smooth edges okay i still remain a family man i still have a family and i do believe that i do have some love within me all right i'm just saying from that lots of love thank you and we all are imperfect learn to love the imperfections yeah. in others so so yes. let's That's let's true. move on to let's the next respect. one uh, sushma are you done or something else i'm done i'm done great great uh, can we move on to tarandeep or to mandeep yeah so uh, my um, uh, you know the last point that i would want to make or summarize my uh, learning or understanding of it is yes women are the backbone uh we have to include uh, more women in the, our uh, decision making uh, we have to get more women uh, to uh, come to uh, you know domains which were uh, which are mostly um, men uh, domains uh, training and uh, sensitizing the society 
is the utmost thing. Uh, definitely data says that, uh, you know, the, in fact, Indian parliament, only 14.5% women are there representing. So if we have more women representing the society, uh, better uh, that would be. And uh, I think there is no two ways or there are no two thoughts that women are not the backbones. They are the, the backbones. We have to give them more space and more uh, uh, inclusiveness in the, uh, you know, um, decision making um, places. That's Can I just add you. one thing, please? Yeah, please. Okay, so uh, what I can conclude out of all the, you know, feedbacks and what are, you know, whatever everybody has had as opinions, they were all beautiful in their own ways. Because somebody rightly said, they are all coming from a background. They are, they're all, uh, you can't be judgmental about things which each one of us said today. Because everything is situation based also. Now, men are as valuable as women. Let, let us just understand that because otherwise this balance of ecosystem will not be there. So they are as valuable, they are contributing in their own beautiful ways. But, uh, you know, wherever, uh, you know, we want some contributions in other things where it has to be absolutely segregated, that this is women work on men work, things are drifting in a positive manner. But by default, we as human beings, women, have been made of a different mix. So just value ourselves because we are created differently. But that value system should be always there with us. You know, we should not cut, cut on it or we should not uh, get into a rebellious attitude, you know, looking at what is this and, you know, what we want, our do's and don'ts, which are created by us only. We should let it, let that flow. That beauty should always be there. We have to be empathetic. We have to be sensitized to the entire thing. And we are family binders. So we cannot take that from our own selves. We are leaders in binding our families. So if our families are together, it's because of the responsibility of a woman. So that is the beauty. I count it as the beauty. Now, in terms of things, you know, what, where we start gripping, there I think we need to walk a little more. We need to be very clear in our minds. I can only move this much. I can only spend maybe two hours in, uh, you know, have, making everybody happy or uh, reaching out to their needs and this uh, two hours, one minute also, you know, I will move out and get into my entrepreneurial space because I have to contribute there as well. So that is why when I said we are not ice cream sellers, so we cannot make everybody happy. Exactly. We have to fulfill our And you know, they switch on and switch off. off. Yeah. And they switch off. That switch on and switch off is in our hands. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 a, a clarity when I said, no, ki clarity, mere mind me clarity hai. But yeah, I wanted to start a business which is independent. You know, three years back when I started, I could have joined 18 years old business. But I was very clear. I wanted to make my own decision. I wanted to see my roadmap on my own, my struggles on my own, my defeats on my own, my successes on my own. So, that was an independent decision. So, my goal and objective were very clear in my head. And till date, I have evolved. No, but I, having said that, men have contributed beautifully on that roadmap as well. That is why we, we, that yep. is what Auntie also said. Whatever yep. we are there today, there is a support system that is supporting you. Otherwise, you won't move an inch. Every time you'll be having pensions and you can't even contribute anywhere. You'll not be a beautiful giver. You'll not be a beautiful uh, contributor. So I think that goes with us hand to hand. It's a step by step evolvement of our environment and ecosystem, what we can contribute is get our kids involved, you know, get, get uh, ingrained in them few things which, you know, uh, we can build on it. So that is what I, I think step-by-step -step contribution. Oh, thank you. So one, uh, I had request Mummy to share something. I mean, I said this first, if we become a friend of each other, then our life will be very easy. Absolutely. सहारा बनने की जरूरत है लेकिन अंडरस्टैंडिंग होगी तभी तो सारे बनोगे अगर एक दूसरे की बात काटते रहोगे तो कभी भी सहारा नहीं बन सकता बात काटना नहीं बात को सुनना अंडरस्टैंड करना और अपना सजेशन देना यस yes. यही मेरा आपसे बहुत सीखने का है एक दिन मैं सेशन लूंगी आपके पास आके बैठूंगी यही मेरा अनुरोध है आप लोगों से आपकी बहुत लंबा जीवन है and, and one of the things, Pavni, uh, uh, so thanks for uh, expressing yourself. 
believe you me all these women who are here on this panel today none of them were as alive and as present as you are when they were of your age okay so please accept this yeah. as a compliment yeah i do okay. right. you will change she don't see yeah. otherwise because i bamne you will change i just replied no i don't want to change no no i just change bamne you understand it's bamne the change bamne the change would not be evident you will just be evolving yourself at the time i would love to evolve yeah you don't have to change for anybody for god's sake exactly. okay all but right you evolve yourself yeah, yeah. great okay shri vidya has raised her hand shri vidya uh, can you can you all your friends want to actually it was very nice and healthy discussion i just wanted to tell pavni one thing that yes uh, you need to claim your power but you also need to know that uh the other person you don't need to make somebody powerless to claim your power that's what i feel i mean normally when you want to come into the equality and all the so called things we need to somewhere understand that see the problem is they coming from a background and the environment is such kind that it's not possible for a person to understand this but i have grown up where i see my dad and my mom working or i mean they were working together and so i always know that my dad has been working and helping so i had never had this thought ke ladke ne aisa nahi karna chahiye slowly when my neighbors also used to say that are this is happening that is happening that is when i took the stand that no i want to work a lot for uh, this relationships and i do i do work a lot on relationships i do get these kind of cases you know where the woman has a problem and she doesn't know how to how to resolve it and the same uh, evening the man comes with a similar problem and he doesn't know how to resolve it because both we have to come into a compatibility where we can actually say that let us respect and allow the person to be what they are not to change them but try to amalgamate and create a proper alchemy for both of us all right fantastic thank you uh, shri vidya uh, i think uh, pandey ji so uh, a person from the other camp uh, pandey ji you had something to share if you can please hum fir bhi alag hi camp wale rahenge we are in minority today okay no but then without your support pandey ji pandey ji please speak <laughs> so the mars people are young. men are from mars no <laughs> yeah. uh, yes so i mean i was not expecting that atul will call me for uh, okay. for this one hello sir baaz ki nazar rakhte hain pehle to i i was hesitating to join it because <laughs> i thought uh, i mean uh, your entry may be restricted but then i thought let let me i mean keep <laughs> into courageous yeah keep into it but uh, i mean it's a great great lesson for me <laughs> it's great lesson for me today to understand the perspective uh, you all are talking about and uh, i i feel a lot in risk uh, i mean uh, when i work with uh, uh, my female colleagues my even uh, i mean any any female part uh, family are in our know, relatives so i now i understand better maine bahut pehle padha tha kareeb 40 saal pehle एक सरिता में एक आती थी मेरी बुआ जी की किताब होती थी तो उसमें सरोजनी प्रीतम ने एक लिखा था एक नहीं दो दो मात्राओं में नर से भारी है नारी सो so, मैं रिपीट करता हूँ एक नहीं दो दो मात्राओं में नर से भारी है नारी सो so, नारी के ऊपर ऊपर दो दो मात्राएं अधिक है ना तो मैं समझता हूँ ये जिम्मेदारी के रूप में है और मैं मैं एक ये समझता हूँ कि जो जो मिडास टच एक ईश्वर ने एक फीमेल में दिया है जो जो एक हीलिंग टच आप में दिया है फीमेल में दिया है चाहे मेरी दादी रही हो मदर हो बहन हो सिस्टर हो कोई भी हो मुझे लगता है जो हीलिंग टच जो जो मिडास टच और जो पावर दे रखा है ईश्वर ने वो सब में नहीं है और आपका एक बड़ा रोल है क्रिएटिविटी में इट्स रोल इट्स नॉट ए जॉब वट एवर यू आर डूइंग यू आर डूइंग आई मीन यू आर प्लेइंग अ रोल इट्स नॉट जॉब कोई ये सोचे कि नहीं मेरे को एक जॉब है मैं कर रहा हूँ मैं 
तो मुझे नहीं ये रोल है बहुत बड़ा रोल है आपके बगैर ये पूर्वी सृष्टि की रचना नहीं हो सकती है ये पूरे पृथ्वी का जो कुछ एक चीज ऐड करना चाहता हूँ कि मतलब आई बीइंग बीइंग ए बायोलॉजिकल साइंटिस्ट और आई मीन आई ट्राई टू एजुकेट एंड टीच पीपल यू नो अर्बन फार्मिंग यू नो अर्बन फार्मिंग अच्छा so thanks a lot for me it has been an awesome session i think it has been awesome for everybody and uh, those who will see the recording i'm sure each one of you will be uh, glad that you have spent this time listening this one more of the gems from english so there are two words one word is a uh, uh, but and the other one is and okay we can have any sentence with either and or with a but okay the interesting piece is each one of us has a but and it stinks and if you replace the but with an and the entire compo- uh, composition changes okay so they have this uh, uh, um, uh, shiv and parvati what what was that uh, uh, ard nareshwar okay that is probably where the world is headed that is my take away from today's conversation thanks each one of you for contributing those who did not uh, say a single word each one of them took back a lot so uh, so if you like the conversation today please uh, share some remarks in the chat box and we'll meet up again uh, okay so somebody was asking which is the next